want to drift an old Mustang, huh? Why? Those are really bad at drifting. Why, though? Well, you can't drift something with a solid axle set up in the rear, right? <coughs> okay, well, you just, V8s are bad. You know? Well, they're expensive for a quarter of the cost of a 240SX with a quarter of the horsepower. How about you just watch this video? Alright guys, it's 7.30 in the morning. It's the last Boise Drift event of the season. Today, we set out to find, objectively, is a cheap Mustang a good drift car? We got the skid stain loaded up. We got Miss Piggy, the Tahoe, TBI 350 putting in all the work you could ever ask for. It's 8 o'clock. Yes. My bumper has seen better days, but it's fine. Classic AF. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good nice dude. It's got a little bit of coffee ASMR. We got two half and halves. We got one hazelnut. I don't know if I need anything else. Reese's dude, you got peanut butter cups. True. Out here in Utah, we got views on views. In Idaho. All right, let me give you guys the rundown real quick if you're unfamiliar. This is a 1995 Mustang GT, 5-liter, five 5-speed five manual, QA1 full coilover conversion, all four corners. We've got camber plates up top, cambers maxed out, casters all the way forward. We've got a hydro, a bucket seat, stock 8.8 LSD. Gears are a little long, but it works. Uh, Magnaflow or Flowmaster, I don't know, something something exhaust that's a little bit louder than stock. Uh, just some American Muscle 17s with some tires we can burn off. 16 inch stock wheels, these are from, these tires are from the engineering explained as 2000, dude. Oh, nice. Really gripping up fat. We got her all the way lowered out um and all the way stiff it's pretty much set up exactly like chris fix's car so objectively is it a good drift car yeah let's go find out <laughs> yo gangrene what up hey what's up man what's up how you doing well you know do some musk gang i actually might go grab some gas real quick yeah yeah sick car thanks yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Finding tape or super glue. Braden broke his glasses. Want to do me a favor, Jake, and see if you could potentially find some tape or super glue or something? All right, I just broke my glasses, but uh, let's give her a go, there, buds. We're gonna go into this little uh, spot right here, do a couple donies, warm the tires up, see how it's feeling. Jake's out here shredding it. All right, that feels pretty good. We'll give her a go. Not such a hot lap from the start, but we're good. I'm gonna wait on Garrett for a second here. Oh boy. 
catch a little barrier, we're good. to Braden's viewers what, what you did. Broke the bottom of my tibia and then snapped one of the ligaments on the front side of my ankle. I need some front grip in my life so we're gonna go put these on the front because these are scrubbed and washed out real bad. They, I ran them the whole last drift event in the front. I knew I should have changed them. All right, fresh grippy rubber on the front. 50 PSI in the rear tires now. Let's give her a go. I just want one decent lap at this point. There's no one else on the track. I blew a tire in my very first lap. Is it closed or what? What's happening? Good? better. We got the uh, all Mustang wheels on her again. Jake and I are gonna go shred. Hydro's a no-go once again, so Jeez. we're just going. It's gonna go. We have an unwanted guest. That is gigantic. Yeah, it's huge. 
Yeah. Blah, where did he go? I don't know. I, know. I don't know. <laughs> he just disappeared. There's a, there's a big ass wasp in I just here. snacked. He's right there. Right there. Left. What? No, that's <laughs> not it. That's Got too hell bent on uh, that wall tapping. Kept her going a little too long, I think. Sorry, it's just boiling over from the overflow. All right, we're gonna go for a ride with Jake and Z. Big rack is a little, a little funky. Oh, she's on her way out. There's no boots on it, so because the angle kit. <laughs> I know, it saved me so many times. Somebody pointed out that this wheel is scooted way back and you can uh, play a quick game of Where's Waldo or What's Wrong With This Picture. Um, when I took it off track, it looks like we uh, knocked the cash a little wild. Does that plate look bent to you? <laughs> a little bit, yeah.
Mustang's got rod knock. It's unfortunate, but there's a push rod 5.0 with 181,000 miles on it. It was kind of a ticking time bomb. Oh yeah, the lovely banner I carefully made and he tried to install it dry. Yeah. Video title, I started with the idea. Is a Mustang a good drift car? And I still don't think I would say no. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. I was struggling a little bit, but I was just frustrated. When I calmed down, look what happens. The engine blows up. But also, I wish I had the camera for those last few laps though, because they were all buttery smooth. I was like, no camera, these are just for me to blow the engine up with. But, oh well. Do you guys know I'm on a diet, but we're at a drift event. What do you not fuck with? Traditions. So we're going to Arctic Circle. Arctic Circle. All right, 33% of the V8s today have failed. So we need the other 66% to be okay. It's so hot. <laughs> oh, Braden broke yeah, the Mustang, so it's a good thing there's an auto zone there. Get in the zone. Yeah, just walk in there and get a crate 5.0. I guess I would like a 5 engine, please. <laughs> so I know my style's a little whack right now, but it's Tear gonna whack. It's gonna elicit less weird reactions than me not wearing glasses. Look at this. I just wanted a little graze. It's in the bumper. That's impressive. That's sick. No, you gotta keep it. I know. I'm gonna pull that right now. What is that even? It's the tape it's, off the yeah. wall. Oh. Dude, With I the... can't believe how close I kept getting. It was insanely frustrating. Your car got a splinter. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing it's not under its finger now. All right, well, let's uh, for some missiles. Let's drive two hours now. God, that squat. <laughs> the Mustang probably weighs as much as the Tahoe does. Four, four, four behind the liquor stove. <laughs> You're not Braden Carl, dude. <laughs> oh, Aaron Carter. <laughs> <laughs> what dreams? Yeah, true. <laughs> You're already famous YouTuber. When I have a dream, it's always blurry because I don't sleep with my glasses on. Did you say you're already a famous YouTuber? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm kind of a big f***ing deal. Like, it's not a big deal, but I am. Dude, how many Honda Accords have you owned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's if that's a measure then. All right, real talk though. Anybody else with glasses ever just poke yourself in the eye when you're trying to put them on? Oops. Have you commented? No, you're still watching this video. Actually, no. That that other guy just clicked off the video. He's like, these guys suck, and he disliked the video. He sucks. Riley Reed sucking on toes. Oh. <laughs> I was just gonna say, look how drunk this lady is. She's literally having her man's assist her. It was man's. Ah, dude, your window's dirty. Mine. Cedric, your window's dirty. Suck on these toes. Well, Brayden keeps breaking his glasses. We're in Jerome. Yeah, we have bigger issues than that. You'll notice that we're parked in a normal sized parking lot and there's no trailer attached to the car. Well, that's because um, it's about 17 miles up the road with the Mustang parked on it and both passenger side tires blown. So. We're just gonna hope Walmart happens to have the lug pattern we need, but we don't know what it is. We just know it's six lug, pretty universal among trailers. So hopefully they have six lug trailer wheels in here available, which I know they usually do. But even more so, be careful when you get back in there. Um, hopefully they're the right ones. Cool. Could we have a Spanish-speaking associate to electronics? Hispanic speaking associate to electronics. Hispanic speaking? <laughs> Subtle Jerome racism? <laughs> yes, two of them actually. Trailer wheels. They still want the Spanish speaking <laughs> She's like, sir, I forgot it's Sunday. And auto is closed on Sundays. Now she's once, she's hung up on me, first of all. Second, she, but every time she's gonna transfer me, she's like, Doris, how do you transfer? And she's like, I forgot it's Sunday and all ah, those clothes. And it's like, I just need somebody to check and see if there's trailer wheels there with six holes in them. She's like, you need a wheel? And I was like, yeah. She's like, I don't think we sell those. What is this world coming to? All right, so the battery's about to die, but here's uh, the long story short. Uh, blue two trailer tires, Mustang is sitting 17 miles away from here on the side of the freeway. Walmart didn't have anything 
but a uh, fantastic guy named Jason who drove, or drove that blue FC in my last drift video um, helped us out, led us on the junkyard. Uh, Isuzu trucks use six by five and a half wheels that are pizza cutters with little tires on them. So uh, we're heading back out there and hopefully the trailer is six by five and a half. I guess most trailers are, but we'll uh, get you an update, I guess. Well, this is truly a roadkill-esque adventure, so let's recap real quick. The second I put my helmet on, it took my glasses off and dropped them and stepped on them. I uh, had some shitty bald tires on the front of the car, so it was driving badly and I hated it. Had some low pressure tires in the rear, so it was driving bad and I hated it. Ready to give up on the Mustang, uh, we mounted some stickier tires to the front and put a bunch of pressure in the rears and we had a good time until I blew the engine up in which we left and then made it 20 minutes outside of town before the ratchet strap broke loose and the ratcheting mechanism blew through both those tires. So we waited and tried to figure things out and then we went back to Jerome where the people at Walmart had no idea what the fuck I was talking about when I literally just needed a wheel with a tire on it. And then Jason hooks us up big time, takes us out to a junkyard that's way beyond closed, finds us two wheels from a Suzu pickup truck that happened to be the same lug pattern as most six lug trailers. They fit. Those tires are really nice too. We're just at a stinker station now because they have free air. And oh, and they're different sized tires. <laughs> so we should have been home at, oh, you know, 7.30. It's 10.36. Mustang's toast for now. Um, but I still feel like it wasn't the worst of days. No. But it's not still as bad as the time we hit a deer and then blew a tire and then drove all the way into Mountain Home from Glen's Ferry and put a spare on it, made it into Mountain Home, stopped and got dinner and then the spare blew. However, we haven't passed through Glen's Ferry yet and that's kind of the demon hell zone. So we're gonna get some air. And at this point, Nothing's going to surprise me. We left Twin Falls about seven and a half hours ago. It's a two hour drive. So there's that. <sighs> I'm running on like four hours of sleep. I've been up for 18. Drift car. No longer driftable. Um, yeah. I'm going to go to sleep. See you